to my channel and I am going to show you today how to make a jello cake. If you have not ever had a jello cake yet, you absolutely need to. And this is how you do it. Super easy, super delicious. It's a kid favorite and it'll be gone in no time. Okay, so for a jello cake, you are going to need a white cake mix. You are going to want uh, frosting. We like strawberry. You can get cherry. You can get I think there's a raspberry one. Um, we just like, even if you get a strawberry jello, you're gonna want either cherry, strawberry, or raspberry jello. And then one of those three flavors of um, frosting as well. And then, of course, whatever you need for the recipe on the back of the box. For this one, you're gonna need water, oil, and three eggs. And since we have a really big family, we are gonna double this recipe and actually make two of them. So what you do first, you just follow the box directions on your cake mix. It does not have to be a Betty Crocker cake mix. It can be any white cake mix. Uh, put it in the oven for the time that it says on the back of the box. And the magic happens when the cake comes out and cools. So let's go through uh, making the cake according to the directions on the box. So the next step is the jello. So on the side of the jello, it gives you the instructions that are gonna not focus. So funny. Anyways, it reads to do this regularly, you would use one cup of boiling water. Um, and then you would mix the powder in and then add one cup of cold water and then just stir it and then you would let it set. So for these packets, when you put it into the cake, you're just gonna cut that in half. So instead of one cup of boiling water, we're gonna do half a cup of boiling water, add the mix, and then we'll do half a cup of cold water, stir it up, and then we're gonna put it in our cake. So let's warm up our water right now. I have that ready. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two or three minutes until it starts bubbling in there and then we'll go from there. So while we wait for the water to heat up in the microwave, we are going to poke holes in this cake to help the jello better get down into the cake. You can do this with a fork. I like to do it with a straw, but we don't have any straws at the moment. This is just an old um, medicine syringe that came with one of the kids' antibiotics a long time ago. So I'm gonna use this end and I'm just gonna go through and poke the holes in the cake. You don't need a ton of them, just evenly distributed through the entirety of the cake. And you're gonna focus pouring your jello into those holes on the cake. Okay, let's get our water out. my studio lights out. Okay, so we have our half a cup of water. I always put it a little over a half a cup because some of that vapor is gonna escape. It doesn't have to be exactly on the mark. Now you're gonna take your powder, the jello. You're gonna mix it in until it's all dissolved really well. Ricky, do you like jello cake? Mm -hmm. Everybody loves jello cake. 
it's my favorite. Another thing about this cake is um, a lot of people will keep their cake out on the counter, you know, just covered or whatever, and eat it throughout the week. This cake you want to keep in the refrigerator because it will go bad because it's, you know, I mean, it's jello. It will get moldy and gross if you leave it out on the counter, and you don't want to do that. Okay, so our jello is mixed up really, really, really well. We're going to add that next half a cup of cold water so we have a full cup. Do that now. Okay, just give it a little mix. And then we're gonna focus on those holes that we poked with the little dropper thing. Many times we do this with a fork. Just kind of make a messy pokes with the fork. That way you make a good opening in the top of the cake to pour this jello down into. Just like this. And then you will put this back in the fridge for another hour or two. Yeah. Even if it's not completely set, it still tastes really, really good. Like we've made it. Um, like a billion times. Yeah, we've made it so many times. And sometimes the kids are like antsy and don't want to wait on it to completely set. And it still tastes really good. Okay, so we're going to put this in the fridge and then we'll frost it and I'll show you what it looks like. Two hours later. So we frosted it after it sat in there for two hours. I cut it open with a few slices to show you what it looks like inside. Oh, sorry about my notification. It's my daughter messaging me. Anyways, this is what it looks like inside. There's going to be pieces that have the jello in it and pieces that are plain. Over here, I'm panning over to a slice that I put on the plate. We just had pizza, so the counter is kind of messy. Here it is. It's amazing. For real though, it's so delicious and it's good cold. Like a lot of people probably really like like a warm piece of cake just fresh out of the oven and frosted. Um, this is a cold cake. It's still, oh, sorry about my daughter messaging me. Anyways, it's really, really good cold. I don't know. It's just a good cake. Nice cold glass of milk. Here I'm trying to get the fork out of this piece. Such a profesh YouTuber. Shaking the piece off of there. That's the corner piece so it's not as beautiful as the, the middle pieces are. <clears throat> good gracious. That was really stuck in there. Anyway, so I'm cutting into the slice of cake here. So I can show you the beautiful piece of cake. So pretty. It's so pretty. If you guys try making this cake, definitely let me know what you think about it. Um, or if you've ever had a jello cake. If you haven't, uh, Jake had never had a jello cake until I made one for him. And his daughter actually wasn't a big fan of cake. Still isn't a big fan of cake, but she really likes the jello cake. It's just really good. Nice and moist. Always good, nice, moist cake. It's not dry. It's not crumbly. The jello really adds to it. Watching me make a jello cake even though I am maybe the worst uh, set up youtuber ever oh I maybe still have frosting on my lip but we're gonna go do Memphis's birthday cake the cake that I took a slice out of for this video uh, was just the extra cake and you see my eyeliner you guys should go watch my tutorial I know it looks ridiculous like this but because my eyes are so hooded I can never get it to look good Go watch the other video I put up today about eyeliner. If you have hooded eyes or aging eyes and you can't ever get your eyeliner right, this is called Batwing and it's super amazing. Anyways, 
like this video, subscribe to my channel, let me know if you make a jello cake or if you've ever had a jello cake because they're freaking amazing and everybody needs to have jello cake in their lives at some point. Uh, this dog is breathing on me because he wants outside, so I'm gonna go. Bye!